Let's write the formula here for lead two sulfide, IDE. So first off, lead, that's a metal, and then we have sulfide. So sulfide is from sulfur, so we have a nonmetal. This is an ionic compound. And the two here, the Roman numeral, that tells us a lot of information. So first off, let's look at the charge. For lead, we can't tell. Lead's down here. It's a post-transition metal, so we can't really tell just looking at the periodic table. But the two here, that tells us that we'll have a two plus. Sulfide, right here is sulfur, and all of the elements here in this group, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, they're two minus. So we're going to have a two minus for our ionic charge for the sulfide or ion here. You can see the trend. 1 plus, 2 plus, skip these and transition metals. And really we go 3 plus, 4 plus, 4 minus, 3 minus, 2 minus, 1 minus, and 0. Important to know the ionic charge. Let's write the formula. So we write Pb, that's for lead. Sulfide is just S. If it was sulf8, then it'd be SO4. But for IDE, that's going to be a single element here. Since we have a 2 plus and a 2 minus, these charges, they balance out. So we can just get rid of them there. And that's the formula for lead to sulfide, PBS. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.